Hey guys, how's it going? So Sundial is uh, doing a share repurchase program. I think this is just a ploy by the company to try to push the stock price above a dollar. And in my opinion, it's probably going to work. Uh, I don't, it will stay on a dollar and float above a dollar for the amount of days they need to in order to uh, stay listed on the Nasdaq or will the market hype this up and push this thing to two dollars I have no no idea but uh, you know I think it's probably gonna get out of the dollar range but I honestly think that this is a dumb idea I mean well it is because they could use that hundred million dollars for growing the business versus uh, using it for buying back the stock, in my opinion. Uh, but that's my opinion only. I but again, I don't think they want to do a reverse split. I want. I think they want to keep the stock in the penny ranges. They just want to get out of the dollar range, so then they can uh, remain listed on the Nasdaq without a reverse split. But I honestly believe that this hundred million dollars could be used for better because like you think about it, right? Hundred million dollars would only buy back maybe a hundred and fifty million shares depending on where they bought it. Uh, right now they have currently two point zero six billion shares. So the, the, if they bought it back, they'll still be sitting at about one point eight five billion. And that hundred million dollars is can be better used on growing the business versus buying back stock, in my opinion. But who knows? Uh, you no, know, the board of directors probably thought that you know this is probably a better way to do it than doing a reverse split. That's my opinion. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe they would. Maybe they think this is better to buy back shares. First of all, they shouldn't have diluted shareholders that much, and they still have more dilution coming. They uh they just acquired um Alcana. That's another like three hundred, four hundred million shares dilution. So you know, <laughs> it just makes absolutely no sense to buy back shares unless they 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 just using this as a ploy to push their stock above a dollar. That's just my opinion. Uh, so I wanted to bring this up. I thought maybe uh, people would be interested, but I'm definitely gonna be signing up. Uh, it's a dollar ninety nine for one month. I'm gonna sign up for one month. I'm gonna watch all the shows I want, and I'm gonna cancel because I'm a cheap ass. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's how I operate. Uh, the pre market right now is a little bit green. Not too much to say. Anyways, that's it for the video. I don't have too much to say, but uh, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Oh, wait. You know what? I should share my position on Sundial. Uh, I am not a shareholder. I cut my losses on Sundial because I was planning to buy back into the stock. But at the same time, I was worried about reverse split. But with this share buyback program, it might not happen anymore. Who really knows at the end of the day? I still think that it's, uh, it's a smart idea for them to do a reverse split. That's my opinion. You know, may not happen. But that's my opinion. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if the, the market and the big money will push this thing out of a dollar range. It could happen. Anything possible in this market. Anyways, uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates. And have a great day. Bye.